everyone. Welcome back to Opening New Digital Doors. I'm EJ Vizzy, and I'm the project coordinator of Age Friendly Teaneck. Now, our organization's overall goal is to help the township of Teaneck be as wonderful a place to grow old as it has been to grow up. And today, we're going to talk about library cards. Now, maybe you're an avid reader, and when you were younger, you fantasized about when you would retire and spend your days visiting the library, checking out as many books as you like, and actually having the time to read them. Or maybe you've never been one to enjoy reading for pleasure. Your library card expired years ago, and the library is not a place you saw yourself spending time. Now, most people are honestly probably somewhere in between these two extremes. Libraries are probably one of the most valuable yet underutilized public institutions in our country. Libraries are hubs of information, which serve as a perfect place for lifelong learning. And you can access a wealth of information on a wide range of topics. For older adults, cognitive stimulation and keeping your brain moving, or maybe getting it back in motion, is especially important in daily life. Fortunately, reading can be an effortless and pleasant opportunity to stay mentally sharp. In addition, the library does have large print books for those who have visual challenges and want that extra oomph. Whether it's a new interest or whether it's been one that's already mastered by you, there's always uncharted territory to be explored. And with more books than anyone could ever read in a lifetime, older adults can escape to new worlds of their literary choosing. Oh, and another bonus to consider is that many older adults live on a fixed income, so they don't really have a lot of extra money to spend on entertainment. The fact that library cards don't cost a dime, but give you access to tons of books, audiobooks, music, and movies means you're getting a whole lot of entertainment value for free. Now, because of social distancing and other restrictions, you may not feel comfortable going to the public library in person. And the great news is that you can sign up for one online using the internet and your application will be forwarded to your home library. Then they will send you a physical card through the mail into your mailbox. Now I'm gonna share with you a video tutorial that was created by the Teaneck Public Library on how to create a library card online. The website they're starting off right here is www.teaneclibrary.org and I have it right on the screen. Enjoy. Hello, welcome to the Teaneck Public Library. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a library card account online using the Teaneck Public Library website. Once you are on www.tnaclibrary.org, you will see in the top right-hand side of the page a button that says Get a Library Card Account Online. Click this. This will take you to the Buckles page. The BCCLS, or Buckles, is a library consortium which Tnac Library is a member of. At the top of this page, there is a link. It takes you to a page where there's information on how to get a library card account in numerous languages, including Chinese, Korean, Russian, Polish, Japanese, and Spanish. If you scroll down, you can find more information on this. I will be continuing in English. First thing you'll need to do is select your hometown library from a drop-down menu. I will be selecting TNEC. You need to enter your postal code and click continue. This will take you to the library card account application. You'll need to enter your first name, last name, and please enter your birth date if the application is for a child aged 5 through grade 12. This helps the um, library staff determine who to match the child with, whether it's a teen or um, children's librarian. The services for them. Um, this, please enter your address. You'll need to enter your preferences for library notices, your phone number, email address, and the logon information. 
When you're done, you can click Submit. After you apply online, you'll first receive a temporary card number to the email address you provided from the TNEC Library Patron Services Department. That number can only be used for e-resources, e-books, and e-audiobooks. Once your application is processed by library staff, you'll receive an email from the TEANCIRC, TNEC Circulation Department, at bccls.org with your own permanent library card number. This number can be used for e-content, placing holds, checking out physical items. This will also allow you digital access to e-books, e-audiobooks, magazines, movies, TV, music, and newspapers. The physical library card will be sent to the address you provided on the application. If you have any questions, you can contact us at teancirc at bccls.org or by calling 201-837-4171, extension 305. Whew, wasn't that so helpful? I'm glad that they walked you through each of those steps. Now, with many people still largely associating libraries with one main activity, and that's reading, many of you might have heard at the end of the video tutorial that the new library card you just created will give you access to not only physical items, but also give you digital access to e-books, e-audiobooks, e-magazines, movies, TV, music, newspapers, and so much more. And so the E, like in an email, is short for electronic. And when I say ebook, I mean an electronic book and an electronic magazine. And an audiobook is a recording where the text is read aloud to you. Sometimes it's even the author reading right to you. So if this is making you sweat a bit or you raise an eyebrow, I do have some good news. The fun part is that on future episodes, we will be sharing with you exactly how to view these electronic books and other media digitally using Libby. Hoopla, and Niche Academy. And if you would like free training on any of the topics we discuss, or even some things that we haven't yet gone over, we can help you. We are partnering with the Teaneck Public Library and the Forum at Teaneck Public Schools to train teenagers right here in Teaneck to serve as your digital technology tutors. The teens can work one-on-one -on -one with you over the phone, again at no cost, to help with a specific skill or to help walk you through one of these tutorials live. So if you're interested, please call the phone number that we're gonna have at the end of this episode, and we'll get you right signed up for a tutoring session. You can also sign up for tutoring on our website at www.hfriendlyteenec.org and click on the button that says Digital Technology Training. I'll have the phone number to the Teaneck Public Library that was shared at the end of the tutorial as well. Thank you so much for connecting with me here today. I continue looking forward to helping you navigate technology by opening new digital doors. I'm EJ Vizzy, and I'm wishing you health, wellness, and happiness. Bye now.